everybody. Happy New Year, Oh, boy, oh, boy. Happy New Year to you, Whoa. Selena. I can't believe we're here in a new year. Well. We're making comfort food. For the whole month. Wow. So guess what we're making today? Can you guess? I can guess. Go A ahead. delicious chicken pot pie. There you go. And what did I just do? So you're making the sauce right now. For right. The I melted the butter. I added the flour. Mm -hmm. So I'm making a roux. A roux. R-O-U-X. And I have to cook the roux until it turns just a slightly light brown. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we're just going to let that do its thing before we add our chicken broth. Now, this About is homemade. Three cups? Yep, oh, three homemade. cups. This is homemade. And what it is, it's the same broth that I boiled the chicken in, and then I added a little bit of chicken base to oomph it up. Okay. But you can use the boxed variety. I was going to say, I do have a nice box of it at home from yeah. the store. Right. Just don't use the low sodium for this one. Okay. Go ahead and use the, the real McCoy. Mm -hmm. And I gave the directions on how to cook the chicken breast, but this is the equivalent of three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast that I cooked. I cube and I have them right here in this pan. It's They're a ready nine to by roll. nine by thirteen. Okay. I parboiled till they're nice and crisp. The celery, mm -hmm. the carrots, four stalks of celery, four stalks of carrots, one whole package of the frozen pearl onions cooked according to the package directions. Okay. And my opinion, you do this best in the microwave, the way that it tells you. What if you had like sliced onions? No, but no, pearl, it work. pearl onions for this baby. And mushrooms. I These love These are mushrooms. regular old cultivated mm. fresh mushrooms. They're not the wild mushrooms. And I sauteed those in butter. Oh, it looks good just like this. It really is. Now, I know this is a little bit of a challenge, but you go ahead and gently mix that together. Okay. And coming back to this, you can see how it's turned a little bit of brown. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going Ooh, to add to this. it smells good already. It does. I'm going to add to this the chicken broth. And I'm going to whisk, 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 no lumps, mm -hmm. and let this cook until it starts to thicken. Oh, look at that thickness. Yep, it took about five minutes, actually. Oh, yum. Pour, Pour it right on top. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm. And then gently mix this together. R don't risk tearing it. What a great tip, right? yeah. Okay, and then you just want to crimp your edges, mm -hmm. but go ahead, brush it, vent it, okay. and then when you're all done, after a 425 degree preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Oh, does that look good? Oh, wow. I'm gonna give you all the good stuff oh, underneath it. This looks absolutely mm. incredible. Mm. Rainia. It's hot. Let yourself. What a great comfort food dish. I need to get all of that in there. The yeah. puff pastry. The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. The big chicken. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. You all right? Too hot? <laughs> Mm -mm. What do you think? I just want to bury my face in it. It's so, so good. good. It's mm. so good. I, I can't wait for next week. Oh, well. Amazing. Yeah, I'm telling you, I've got a lot of good ideas coming up. We don't doubt that from Rainia, yeah. not at all. Yeah, Chicken pot good. pie is so comforting too. It is. It's like on a cold day by the fire, just we, eating your worries away. It's so funny because Mikey and I both have the same sentiment though about chicken pot pie. I, I much rather have an apple pie. Me too. Or a cherry pie. Me or too. Just, yeah. Just, it is what it is. But people right. love it and it's a great comfort yeah. food. All right, for a copy of today's recipes, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you there.